We're here with Josh Huff. Josh, I appreciate you taking the time to talk with us today. So you're coming upon your last home game as a Duck. Have you thought about everything that's happened since you've been here? Yeah, uh, you know, just a lot of ups and downs and uh, just like adversity and how, how I got over there. And, um, just looking forward to the future and uh, finish this last game with my teammates. When you're walking down the tunnel when they're about to call your name for senior day, what are you going to be thinking? Uh, just all the hard work and sweat and tears that I put into this program and um, just finally, finally, finally seeing it all come to an end. Um, it's going to be, be very emotional for me. You've gone through a lot of adversity on and off the field with injuries and personal problems. When you're finally done in Oregon, are you going to look back and be happy how everything worked out? Yeah, of course. Uh, everything I do, I give it my all. And, uh, you know, when I leave here, you know, I won't have any regrets of what, you know, what took place or um, what went on while I was here. Um, you know, I, I enjoyed every minute here, and uh, I just hope that young guys can do the same thing. Who was your initial contact at Oregon before the recruitment process started? Uh, Darren Thomas. Um, you know, me and him grew up in the same area, uh, went to rival high school, so uh, he asked me to come out here and take a visit, and uh, when I came out here, I, I, I really enjoyed it. Do you still have connection with Darren now that he's not at Oregon? Uh, every now and then, you know, I uh, keep in touch with him and see how he's doing, and he asked me how, how I'm doing, and, uh, you know, we just kick it off from there. Has it been a tough adjustment uh, and a transition from receivers coaches? Uh, not at all, you know. Um, each one of my, well, from Coach Frost to Coach Lubick, you know, they have their own unique style of coaching and, um, you know, they've helped me better myself um, each and every day. So uh, it, the transition from both coaches was pretty um, easy for me. You said they have their own unique styles. What, what What's different between the two? Uh, Coach Frost is more of a laid back type of guy and um, Coach Lubick, he's more of a perfectionist. Um, you know, he wants the best for um, his guys and um, Coach Frost, he wants the best for his guys, but he just, he didn't have, you know, um, he didn't actually know um, what to um, teach the receivers as far as like route running and stuff like that. So um, he knew a little bit, but he didn't know as, as uh, he didn't know as much as Coach Lubick does. When Coach Kelly came here, there, obviously there was a big, lot faster off, faster offense. Mm -hmm. Is the conditioning a lot tougher than when you were in high school? Because you came from Texas and it's very warm. Uh, yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot different and a lot tougher. Um, just being in the south, uh, the humidity and um, dry heat, and then coming up here where it's cold and um, running a lot. So uh, it, it, the conditioning was. Uh, tough for me when I first got up here, but now I'm used to it. When you take your ice baths after practice, I'm sure you would have loved that when you were in Texas. Do you like it now? Uh, I don't like it so much now, but back in Texas, I would have loved it. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's just to better myself and better my teammates. So uh, ice bath is uh, part of the ritual here, and uh, we got to keep, keep getting better. Do you have a favorite uniform combination? I don't. It's too many. Uh, but I do like all white, so... Uh, all white would probably be my best. If you had to mix in a new color helmet, what color would it be? Uh, that's a tough one. Uh, I would say uh, a deep steel. Uh, yeah, a deep steel gray. Do you have a favorite memory from when you were at Oregon? Uh, I would say uh, my 85 yard touchdown against Arizona my freshman year. Uh, and then again, uh, just lining up as a freshman uh, in a national championship game. A week after your touchdown against Arizona, you guys were playing up in Oregon State mm -hmm. for a chance to have a national championship berth. When the final seconds were winding down that clock and everybody was running all over the field, what was the first thing that came to mind? Uh, just crazy, man. A dream come true. Just being younger and playing video games, getting yourself, creating yourself on the game, playing for your favorite team, and um, getting to the national ch championship game each and every year. Uh, it was fun and to live out my dream and uh, be that, you know, freshman player on a um, top team in the nation and playing for the national championship game, you know, uh, it was just a dream come true. Just a few weeks ago, your national championship hope for this year were lowered a little bit than mm -hmm. just a few days ago, mm -hmm. pretty much crushed. Mm -hmm. What did it feel like for all that hard work to maybe go down the dump as far as that goal? Uh, it was crushing. Uh, just like, you know, a kid in a candy store, you know, you know, he's working so hard to get his mom to buy him that candy that he wants. And then um, 
his mom, you know, just at the counter, um, checks out and pushes Kenny back. It's just, you know, heartbreaking um, to work that hard for something and just see it just snatched right in front of you. But, you know, I can't dwell on that or my teammates can dwell on that. We just got to continue to move forward. Now that you're perhaps going to the Alamo Bowl, the Holiday Bowl, the Alamo Bowl is pretty close to home. Have you ever thought about playing a bowl game? Your final game as a duck close to home? Not at all. Uh, never envisioned it and never really wanted to uh, play in the type of bowl game that we were playing in. But, you know, um, the chips fell where they uh, fell, and uh, we just got to work and continue to work. So um, if the Alamo Bowl is where it's the final, uh, where it's final and said, then that's where it's going to be, and I'm going to be able to play in front of my family. The NFL draft process is almost like the recruitment process when you're talking with a lot of different teams. Mm -hmm. Have you ever thought about going through that experience again, maybe more intense? Uh, not at all. You know, I'm just taking it one day at a time, and um, I'm trying not to look too far ahead. I'm just um, worried about Oregon State right now. When you're playing the Beavers on Friday, is there one personal wish that you want? Uh, <laughs> Other than winning the game? Of course, I want to win the game, but I also want to um, eclipse the thousand-yard mark. And uh, I think my dad told me that I need like 150 more yards, so uh, hopefully I can get that. You said that your dad's goal was for you to always get your degree. When you graduated pretty recently, how good did that feel? Uh, it felt great. You know, it felt like I was on top of the world at the time, and um, just having my dad there and seeing him smile, um, it was it was pretty amazing. The whole process of transitioning from the end of college football to the pros or whatever you choose to do is a pretty difficult time, and that's a lot to handle. What's one thing that you want people to know that you're going to do in that process that's very important that you learned at Oregon? Uh, you know, just making the best of my uh, opportunities, uh, you know, transitioning from here to the NFL. Um, I'm always going to work hard. Um, I'm going to try to outwork the next person that's lined up across from me or next to me and uh, try to better better, better uh, my teammates, whoever I get drafted to. Josh, I appreciate your time today. Thank, Thank you. you.